It is becoming the daily life of the Palestinians. Every day passes, more names are added to the list of the dead, or rather, the killed. This car was carrying three young Palestinian men before being shot inside their vehicle. All of them have been killed. I heard intense gunfire. I went out. There were special forces inside the White House. They started shooting toward the car which the martyrs were driving. This brutal act adds to the latest death of a 14-year-old child, Walid Saad Dawood Nasser, who was critically wounded by occupation forces while storming the city of Jenin and its camp two days ago. The occupation forces are making the life of Palestinians a nightmare. More eight citizens were arrested in the West Bank. In the Holy Aqsa Mosque, 132 settlers stormed its courtyards, knowing that such acts are provocative. The Palestinian presidency said that Palestinians are waging a major national battle in defense of Al-Quds and the independent national decision. Thursday's deaths came two days after six Palestinians were killed by occupation forces during a raid in Jenin. In total, at least 77 Palestinians have been killed since the start of this year.